Welcome everybody. So uh, yesterday the Linux Mint Debian Edition had its uh, release candidate released and um, what this is doing is it is taking and providing the latest updates to Cinnamon 2.0 and Mate 1.6. So if you have um, the previous version of Linux Mint Debian Edition installed, which would be Update Pack 7, you can go into your uh, repositories, do a dist tac upgrade if you're in the terminal, or go in here and, and um, check to see if your system's up to date and actually uh, update the uh, system. So um, among the improvements are the same things that improved upon in Petra is some improved graphics when moving windows around there's improvements to various cinnamon functionality and actually something I didn't notice previously which was the ability to um, snap and tile windows so let me show you an example here We'll open up HTOP. So what you can do is hold down the control key and you'll notice there's a slight green tint to that and it'll give you a hint and that will uh, provide window tiling which looks exactly the same as snapping here in the gray but the difference is let me show you if you go in and Try to full screen a window, which I just did by hitting um, Alt Space Bar. It will go and full screen on half of the window. So this is great if you've got a high definition monitor, uh, you know, a 1080p monitor, and um, want to, I don't know, monitor something in HTOP or in the terminal while working on the web or surfing Google Plus. So. Among some of the other changes, of course, is the little Linux Mint menu. And the login screen is uh, identical to Petra's login screen. So essentially, what you're doing is you're getting the um, updates that was released in Petra a couple months ago, uh, ported over to Linux Mint Debian Edition. Now, one thing I wanted to mention with Debian Edition, even though it's considered a rolling release distribution, it's actually semi-rolling release. Um, the Linux Mint team actually uh, maintains their own repositories, which they uh, periodically update. So I believe it's a slightly slower um, cycle, making it for uh, to be extremely stable. For instance, uh, I very rarely get any errors that aren't caused by me myself making a mistake. Um, among some of the improvements that I wanted to mention is that I can now play uh, Strike Suit Zero, which has been a... Um, it looks like it's not showing up on my uh, Steam options. Strike Suit Zero was not working previously due to some errors with... Um, with... Uh, I guess, I, I'm going to guess it has to do with the drivers for the video, uh, the Intel video uh, drivers, or something along those lines. So you can see now that it is it is working just fine. Okay, I'm not going to play this. Previously what would happen with some games is that you'd go to open up a game, there would be some sort of malfunction, and uh, the window would open and close, it wouldn't even boot um, anything, it would just open, close, and be done with it. So. Definitely worth taking a look at Linux Mint Debian Edition if you haven't looked at it before. It's now up to date in the sense that it's right up there with Petra. And if you're looking for something that's more of a long-term support style release, um, but a little bit more up to date than uh, Ubuntu 12.04 LTS for the next couple months, Debian Edition is definitely a good idea. They release these uh, update packs between every uh, six to nine months so they tend to be a little bit more up to date than the um, LTS release especially once a year goes by so things like piano bar which frequently uh, uh, lose functionality after a few months uh, will work here in Linux Mint Debian Edition 
All right, well, I'm going to log into uh, to the Mate desktop and do a quick review of that. But anyway, let me know what you think about this desktop, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Now if I could just find the terminal I had this recording in. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.